Hi guys, Don Rice here, Top Flight Giant Scale Gold Edition P47. Canopy went on uh, Thursday night, and last night um, I took a look at what needed to be done here. Actually, the canopy went on and looked pretty good. There were a couple areas that I needed to shove some glue up underneath especially right along in here. Uh, took care of that and then because this front part on the real airplane was immovable um, I built up this front area right here with uh, West Systems resin and micro balloons and got it all fared in really nice with uh, the, the plastic canopy. Back here there, it, 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 it isn't. There's a lip here which is the edge of the canopy which is the way it's supposed to be. And then, um, so, worked all last night to get this thing ready for um, the sealer coat of primer. And that went on first thing this morning. And, uh, and then I've been prepping this canopy. So I've, I've, I've masked everything off here, the windows, and sanded the frames with 400 dry. And, um, and then I cleaned everything with some of this stuff and I have now mixed up some um, Model Masters dark green enamel and we've got that in the Grex airbrush nicest airbrush I've ever seen. The nice thing about it is, I mean, the, the trigger here is so nice and so it's a double action and as I start to pull back from here it'll start releasing paint but it releases paint from here all the way back to here so you can release just a very tiny bit or a whole bunch. So, you know, if I, here I'm just putting out a little bit or I can put out a bunch. Anything in between. So, um, this thing right here is a piece of 164th chart tape. It goes up and around more or less where the separation point of the canopies is. I'm only doing that now for this green. Um, I'll tell you why in a minute. I mean, the green doesn't have to be perfect. Um, it is just the first of at least three different colors that are going to get sprayed on this frame. Um, the only purpose for this green is um, so that if somebody is looking through the canopy and they see the frame on the other side it'll be green. The outside of this airplane isn't going to be this color. Um, I'm just shooting the inside of the canopy this color because that's what the inside of the cockpit was. want to basically a, just a nice wet coat where I can get a little sheen out of it so that it flows out properly. Doesn't leave me with a bunch of uh, orange peel. Stuff dries pretty quick. I've got um, instead of using a lacquer thinner on this, which works fine. I've used a, um, acrylic enamel reducer from PPG, and 
so that it's not quite so reactive and not quite so fast. So the green goes on and then um, and we're done. Green goes on. The next thing I'm going to do is uh, after this dries a little bit, I'm going to uh, I'll pull this piece of tape, this 64 chart tape, which will leave an unpainted line all the way around. And, uh, and then I will add rivets all over this thing. They have to go on after the green because I don't want to see the rivets as I'm looking through the cockpit. And so after the rivets go on, uh, then I'm going to shoot, then I'll pull uh, all the masking off the rest of the airplane. And I'll shoot the whole plane with silver. And, uh, and so the silver will be the top coat of the cockpit and, air, and the rest of the airplane. And uh, at that point, I can start shooting the final color coats on, and uh, color coats will go on, and then I can weather and rub and sand and use uh, steel wool to weather some of those top colors off and expose the, the silver underneath, especially on top of the rivets and panel lines and stuff like that. So... Um, about it. We're done with this part. Later.